Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel and the first video of 2019. <laughs> about time. Today I am doing a wrap up of all of my 2018 favorite makeup products. I asked over on Instagram if you wanted to see a talk through or a tutorial and talk through one. So here it is. All right, I've got quite a bit to get through. If you've watched my videos, I'm sure you're going to be able to guess half of this anyway. <laughs> but yeah, if you're excited to see what my favorites were, then keep watching. That's all you, that's all you got to do. Watching. All right, jumping into the products. Let's start with primer. Of course, the L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness has been my number one primer of the year. It is so, 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 so. Okay. It is so good at reducing the redness in my skin. I have used so many anti redness primers, and this one definitely does the best job. It's a very liquidy formula, it's really lightweight, and it also has not quite glitter, but a bit of a shimmer in it, so it does leave your face looking quite glowy. I really like that, but just a heads up if you don't. In Australia, I'm pretty sure this primer is like $30, which is just crazy whack. So I always buy it on sale, I think I've got like three up in my backup box, so... Definitely a favorite of the year and one I will continue to use. Next for color correcting, I've also been loving the Astralis Color Click Concealer. This is just a really nice lightweight formula. It's also quite a, what is this? Pastel, it's like a pastel green. So it's not super dark, it's easy to blend into the skin. And again, it dulls down that redness just amazingly. How I use this is when I've got some really red breakouts, I'll put a little bit of that on top, then go in with some concealer and then go ahead with my foundation. And that does the perfect job at covering and hiding all that redness. Moving on to concealer, I actually have quite a few here to talk about. First up is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the, sh in the shade Chantilly. This is a pot concealer. It's really creamy. And what I love this for is again, covering up those dang blemishes. It is so full coverage. You only need the tiniest amount. I'll usually use my brush, dip it in like once, and then I'll put a little bit over all my breakouts, blend it out, and it is more than enough to cover them up. I've been trying to do more no makeup, makeup looks as well, and this has been the perfect concealer to cover up those blemishes, a little bit under the eyes to cover the darkness, and Bob's your uncle. I don't know where I was going with that, so I just said Bob's your uncle. But anyway, this is a really great concealer if you just easily want to cover up any blemishes. I love it. Next, I've got an oldie. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but it's in the new shade 5 Ivory. I've always loved this concealer. The shade 15 Affair was <laughs> too dark, of course. So when this shade got released in Australia, I just... <laughs> so exciting. It's super, super fair. I can use it underneath my eyes to highlight, which is great. It's a really lightweight, medium coverage formula, so I love it more on an everyday basis. And then I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I have the shade Fair 08, which kind of matches my skin tone, or it's really good for using under the eyes if I just want to conceal. And then I have the shade Fair 04, which is a lot lighter and it's really good for brightening under the eyes. I love this concealer because it is really creamy but lightweight. It has more of a medium to full coverage. It's a bit more than the Fit Me, I would say. Again, I love it for everyday wear, but I can definitely use it if I am doing more of a glam look. Especially the shade 04 because I can use it to brighten under my eyes. You do only get like four mils of product. It's not a lot, but it's a really affordable concealer. And if ColourPop's ever having a sale or doing free shipping, I always stock up because it is just fantastic. For foundation, <laughs> I'm sure you know, it is the Maybelline Fit Me. No, scrap that. I've been using it like every day and I still don't know the name of it. For foundation, my favorite of the year has been the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. I have two here. This is the shade 02 Fair Porcelain and this is 110 Porcelain. Now, I think I've explained this in a few videos, but here in Australia, 
we don't get these shades. The lightest shade we have is called 03 True Ivory and it is nowhere near as light as these two. So if you are after these two shades, I picked them up from eBay. This foundation is just everything I could ask for. It has a beautiful demi matte finish. It is super full coverage. It is so long lasting. And these two shades are so fair. They just work perfectly for me. I rave about this foundation all the time and it works especially well in the heat. It gets so hot here in Queensland and the humidity is just crazy and this, it lasts. It can stand up to that heat. I do have a full review on this foundation so I will link it down below for you. But if you watch any of my other tutorials from the last couple months, I'm sure I'm using it. Oh, by the way, the shade 102 is cool undertoned and the shade 110 is neutral. On to powders, another one by Maybelline that again I had to buy on eBay because of the shade is the Fit Me Loose Powder. This was finally released in Australia, but of course they didn't release 05 Fair, so that's why I have to pick it up online. But it is 100% worth it. This powder sets everything in place, especially when used with the Superstay foundation. It is like a match made in heaven. Your face ain't going anywhere. I feel like this powder really smooths out my skin and makes it look really flawless. It's also super lightweight. It doesn't feel cakey at all. Especially, I like to apply my loose powders with a beauty blender. So I am putting quite a bit on, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. This is definitely a big winner for 2018. Another powder that I have been absolutely obsessed with is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. Now this one is quite similar to the Fit Me in the fact that it leaves my skin looking really smooth and flawless and it makes everything last all day. The only difference is that it leaves a little bit of a sheen to the skin, kind of like just a healthy glow. I've never used a powder quite like this. I really love the finish that it gives and it just really helps on those full coverage days to make my skin look a little bit more fresh and alive rather than like matte and just bleh. I lost what I'm saying. Next product is the MAC Strobe Cream and I have the shade Gold Light. Now this product is nothing new, but I was only introduced to it last year and oh, it is so amazing. So I usually apply it before my foundation and it just makes my skin look really radiant. It still shines through after you've put your foundation on as well and it just gives a really nice healthy glow. And then another product from MAC that I have been absolutely obsessed with, and I've just kind of gone back to it, is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. It's a really beautiful pale gold and it leaves a gorgeous wet look to the cheeks. It's nothing like chunky and glittery, it's just a really smooth finish and the glow it gives, it's just so pretty and it works really well on fair skin. This is the only highlighter that I've really been obsessed with over the last year. I feel like I haven't had one that has really stood out. I've kind of been dipping into a little bit of everything in my collection. But if you're after a new highlighter, I would definitely recommend this one. For bronzer, my favourite has been the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. Usually at the drugstore, it is so hard to find a cooler toned bronzer. They are usually so orange and that just doesn't work for me. This, oh my god. So good and it even says on the back that it is suitable for fair complexion so you know that they had us in mind when they were making it. The bronzer is really smooth to touch, it's not dry at all and it applies seamlessly to the skin, no patchiness. It is a matte bronzer but I find it still manages to leave a little bit of a sheen to the skin. It's just a really nice healthy sun-kissed kind of look. For blush, the one I have been reaching for the most is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. Now I've never been really big on blushes, I'm not into trying them all out. If I've got one that works, I'll just stick to that. But during one of the Priceline sales, I decided to pick this up and... <laughs> I think I've just been all about these products with like a sheen. You know, that kind of just inner glow. And that is exactly what this blush delivers. The blush isn't super pigmented, which I love. Nothing worse than going in with too much blush. It's really buildable and you can get just the right amount of pigment that you want. On to brows, I have a few products here. 
First up is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. This here is a brow pencil. It has a similar shape to the Benefit Goof Proof. You think I would know? I compare the two all the time. Yes, it has a similar shape to the Benefit Goof Proof. It's kind of like a diamond, which at first you think may be hard to use, but it is so easy and so precise. The formula of this is perfect. It's not too waxy, it's not too dry, it's that perfect in between where you can just easily draw on your brows and get on with your day. I have the shade Blonde, which is a really nice cool tone. They're the kind of shades I prefer in my brows. The next product is quite new for me, but I haven't been able to put it down ever since I got it, and that is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. So this here is like a felt tip liner, but for your brows. So I have the shade Bling, and all you do is draw little hair-like strokes. So you just flick this through your brows and my brows have never looked more real and natural and fluffy in their entire life. It can be quite time consuming. So if I don't have the patience for that or if I'm in a bit of a rush, I'll first go in with my Temptation brow pencil, fill in my brows and then go in with the MAC Shape and Shade on the sparse areas where there's not as much hair. So usually it's up in the arch here and on the tail, I'll just do little flicks and it makes my brows look so much more real. And then to finish off my brows, of course I need a volumizing brow gel and my obsession this year has been the Essence Make Me Brow. I have the shade 01 Blondie Brows and what I absolutely love about this is how tiny the wand is. Mm -mm. Look at that, so precise. You can just really get up in there. So this is a coloured eyebrow gel with fibres that grab onto your hairs and make them look more full and just makes your brows look more hairy, which is what I'm here for because I got nothing going on. This cost under $5. It is so affordable and it works so well. On to lips, my favourite lip liner of the year has been the Maybelline Colour Sensational in the shade Nude Whisper. This is a wind up lip pencil, so no need for a sharpener. It's a really nice creamy formula. It doesn't bleed at all. And it is the perfect, most perfect nude for me. And then to match that, I am still 110% obsessed with the Astralis Girl Boss Lipstick in the shade Empower. Now this was in my favorites last year and I still just cannot put it down. It is a demi-matte formula, so it does dry down, but not to that complete uncomfortable matte feeling. It is one of my favorite nude shades. It just feels so comfortable on the lips. It's really long lasting. If you do eat, you have to reapply, but it reapplies so beautifully. There's no patchiness or, you know, sometimes when you apply a liquid lipstick, it feels really like cakey and stiff. Well, this don't do it. Here are some swatches. This is the lip liner and the lipstick. I do have a few other shades in that Girl Boss lipstick and they are all just amazing. The formula is fantastic. For eyeshadows, I just chose one palette and I went with the Astralis Neutralize. Warm tones have been very popular throughout 2018 and I'm really picky when it comes to drugstore eyeshadows, but this palette it's where it's at. The shimmer shades are really pigmented and have a beautiful metallic payoff. And the mattes, they just blend so easily and I don't have any patchiness or any trouble. I said blending, didn't I? Oh, they're just great. I love all the different shades in this palette. You've got a few light ones, a lot of your warm matte shades, and then a beautiful row of shimmers just here. I find all these shadows to be really creamy and it has definitely been a favorite palette of mine, especially because I can get some natural everyday looks, but then I can also get something really dramatic because it does have those deeper shades and add a pop of shimmer, you're good to go. And then lastly, my absolute favorite way to remove my makeup this year has been with my Basu makeup removing cloths. I do have a full review on these if you want to hear more about them. I'll link it down below. But essentially it is a beautiful soft cloth that you just wet with warm water, wipe, and your makeup comes off. You don't have to tug really hard on your skin. It is so gentle and you don't need to use any chemicals. So you're saving money by not buying all these products and it's also helping the environment because you're not using excessive amounts of makeup wipes. I literally am just obsessed with these. 
I think they would have to, oh no, I can't choose a favourite out of everything. Ooh, but I really love them. All right, well, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know I just kind of quickly ran through the products, but I didn't want this video to be like 40 minutes long. And I know you've seen me use these products a million times in videos and in my Instagram videos, so you know I love them and I'm sure you know why I love them. This year, I definitely want to try some more high-end makeup because it's not something that I splurge on a lot. I definitely want to get into some more foundations as well. I just went to Sephora and got some samples here of the Cover FX foundations and I got a sample of the Fenty in the shade 120 because 100 is just a bit too light for me. I'm so excited for the Fenty concealers as well. I will be getting my hands on those. Okay. If there are any products you want me to look at and review this year, then leave me a comment down below. I will definitely look into it. I hope you all had a great new year and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for supporting me and my channel for as long as you have. I love being able to help everyone out there with fair skin or if you've got red hair or if you've got pimples and breakouts, I'm here for you. All right, well, that is literally enough from me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.